some kale for you. All right, so, all right, folks, um, we're back. All right, so uh, we actually have three viewers with their windows open right now, so on we go. All right, so uh, basically the idea here is that we're just going to have a quick 10-minute discussion. Uh, I'm going to be on it. Uh, CJ is here. Uh, Ziggy is on over the Skype. Um, so it's 9.23 right now. I think we'll just wrap it up at 9.33 and clear out of the building. Um, I think that's a constructive idea right now. So I'm going to, um, let's see, logistically here, I'm going to point this over this way. Um, and then uh, we'll have uh, Ziggy facing over here. And there's, so there's Ziggy, there's CJ. Um, so I guess uh, let's, can we maybe like try to, let's, let's first have like one, one minute said for each of you and go from there. I guess, um, uh, CJ, I guess so give us like a minute. I don't even have a, a clock, but just you go for a minute. Ziggy will go for a minute. Let's, let's do that. All right? You can talk to right? Uh, I also yeah. want to talk to you. Uh, sure. You well, you know, talk, like I'll get in the frame you, here. Unless you want to talk to you. Uh, no, I mean, you know, we're all individuals. Like, uh, oh, thank you. That's that's great. I appreciate that. I don't. Okay. Um, so uh, yeah, you can you can address me. Like I don't um, I don't know. Like whatever. All right. So we'll start uh, now. One minute. Yeah. What are we going to talk about? I forget. I, I don't know, man. We're just trying to lay it out there. Whatever you want to talk about, okay. I guess. So you know, because you have a lot of stuff on your mind. Yeah. I yeah. Think. yeah. Well, 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 I wanted to bring up the guaranteed annual income for one thing. Okay. I want to bring up taking over, uh, taking over a, a house. Uh huh. Uh, even though we might not agree with occupy homes, uh, the way they've done it, we have to make be a good tactic anyway. Yeah. I also want to talk about the issue of, of well, uh, torture in the like Minneapolis Police Department. Uh, I've been subjected to torture on, on a couple of different occasions. One time in 1992, uh, Keith Ellison you know, wrote an article in Cop Watch about one incident where I was tortured. And uh, most recently, on uh, December 24th, I think it was, uh, January 24th of uh, 2012, I was tortured by the MPD while I was uh, doing a demonstration uh, at U.S. Bank. Yeah. And uh, um, so I think we should, we should deal with those, that, that issue. Uh, okay. 20, 20 seconds. You can get going. Uh, then I, uh, I forget what the other issues I want to talk about, but um, I guess those are the main things. So, okay. Um, well, uh, let's Ziggy, you want to go for a minute, starting now? Oh, uh, let's talk about the blog. Yeah. So your your blog is uh, occupyright.blogspot.com. You you uh, you really enjoy bringing up your issue from January 12, where you got arrested dressed as a pirate. Uh, then we go further down. You continue and continue and continue and continue to slam Occupy Minneapolis. Uh, we have demand to get representation from for Occupy Homes in Minnesota on the Occupy M and Media Committee. There is a petition at change.org. The petition asked Becky, who was selected by Occupy Homes, to represent the organization to put Occupy blah 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 blah. Basically, Chuck, what you're doing TJ. is whatever. I'm gonna call you Chuck, or well, should I call I'm, you Don no, G. Riley? I'm, Don't I'm, take up my call time. Call me Steve the Just. See the job. Now we also have Orwellian language and a Kafka esque culture in Occupy Minneapolis, and then you have screen caps that go on. Okay. And on. Cool. So that, that's a one minute there. So I guess, um, yeah. So I guess my question then is, um, you know, like let's say in the last like week or two, and uh, with your blog posts and stuff, like how much of your proportion of your effort is directed towards um, saying things that uh, could be taken negatively about activists around the Twin Cities, both for things recent and a long time ago. Like, what, what proportion of your interest is, like, saying stuff that could be taken as a negative thing, and do you feel like it, it gets too negative? I, I think that's kind of the crux of the issue. Like, why is it negative? Why is that a focus? I think each person that looks up my blog can come to their own, own conclusions about that, but my goal, my goal is to not to divide, to, to not to allow ourselves to divide the Occupy movement in, in Minneapolis or in Minnesota. I think that's what the cops want to see, that's what the feds want to see, that's what the whole COINTELPRO was about in the 1970s, and I was in, in an organization that was targeted by the COINTELPRO, the SWP, which won a, two, a, two, a quarter million dollar lawsuit because of uh, COINTELPRO tactics uh, being used, and they were ordered not to, not to use any of that information by the, by the court of law. Uh, so I want, I want the, the Occupy movement not to be divided as was, as was uh, um, attempted by the Occupy Media Committee when they brought this, uh, these what I regard as mostly bogus allegations against Occupy Homes 
And even though this group here, the Occupy Minneapolis group, did not vote to split, split from Occupy Homes, the city pages wrote a very negative article called How Anarchists Can't Get Along, and uh, uh, which uh, uh, quoted, I think you were saying that uh, Occupy Homes was, was uh, uh, classist and what else? Huh? Classist, classist and what else? Uh, it was, wasn't racist, it was something else. It was classist and uh, uh, commercial. commercial. I, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, and I, I didn't time what you said, and I, and I know Ziggy wants to go in a second here. Um, I there was a, you know a, about a six paragraph statement and to consolidate it like what I and several other people signed is that yeah there's problems with censorship uh, commercialization and, and classism in the messaging and uh, and personally I think I've, I've seen um, a, a, just a lot of people that put a lot of time into Occupy homes not just you know, raving at meetings. We put a lot of time into it. They they got censored heavily. People yeah. like people like Liz and Karen were kicked off the list, sir. Mm -hmm. And then to uh, as a way of kind of swatting at people, uh, people that were supposed to be cooperating on this thing. Like like I, I'm presuming Nick was blocking people like from being able to comment on Occupy Homes posts and that kind of thing. So they're saying, well, you have to play by our rules of social media, but. We can still kick off whoever we want from the internal listservs, and they volunteered countless hours for us and that kind of thing. And that was really tough. That was tough for me to take, and it couldn't have gotten addressed last summer. Okay, tons of people were still tied up at trial, and so that was a real serious problem. And so, but since then, since we said we were just not going to share an internal editorial process on two social media accounts, uh, people from Occupy Homes, you know, contact us and say, "Hey, can you please post this?" And you know, usually they have been, but it comes from outside the process because they're a paid organization. Sorry, what? Uh, yeah, uh, let's, let, let's let Ziggy uh, say his bit. Uh, this is, this comes from uh, C.J. Sparrow's um, copied and pasted in the Orwellian language, Kafka's culture in Occupy. He says, no, our leaders are called hosts. It should come as no surprise that they are the same two or three leaders, or I mean facilitators, that always lead our Wednesday night meetings with the exception of when I asked to facilitate. And it goes on and on. Now I'm not going to get into it. Now, tonight, we witnessed somebody who's only been around since shortly before I left to, to the UK. And I didn't see a problem with that person's facilitation. I thought it was fair and just and right. And, but you have people in occupied homes who call themselves leaders and get money. Where's our money? Okay, well, we have no, we have no financial uh, committee to raise money, so we can't have, have money. Uh, but well, I want to comment uh, on Dan's comment. Because well, we're not all uh, running uh, around and asking for the goddamn day. Hang on, man. So, so uh, um, Dan had said that we, uh, that we uh, broke off ties with, uh, with, with Occupy Homes. Uh, and uh, the reasons, I, I think we're not, not legitimate. I don't think that... Uh, if we're working with with uh, with WAM, which is a 501c3, which brings in $150,000 a year, we pay about $105,000 in salaries. That's been operating until recently as our as our fund as our as our finance committee is now operating as our as our, as our official now official official media committee because they, they want to occupy WAM with a Facebook page and a uh, a blog. Um, uh, so basically, uh, they're. Uh, they're kind of uh, uh, doing things that we should be doing ourselves if we want to be independent and not be dominated by an organization that, in fact, is getting money from the U.S. government in the form of tax uh, write-offs. Okay. Tax breaks. <clears throat> cool. Well, so, um, uh, Z Ziggy, hold say, on. May I just say th that there has so not been... Yeah. Ziggy, hang on. There, there has not... Like, Wham... Like, okay, admittedly, Wham has posted an update or a <clears throat> thing on their site saying, you know, we have a committee that's interested in Occupy. They do not serve as the finance committee... Nor have they ever. When WAM does stuff, it's been out of pocket from its members that throw whatever they got into the into the mix. And and, and Polly tried to tell lay this out to you, and you wrote angry stuff about Polly, but you wouldn't really concede concede that her position in your writing. You wouldn't concede her position that that, that she was holding that in fact WAM is not a finance committee. And, and so so that's the kind of thing where. It's like, you, we, Ziggy, hold on, Ziggy, let me just, I just want to say, like, that's the kind of thing where it's like, it doesn't seem um, well-intentioned when you don't acknowledge that people are putting those kind of perspectives to you, and then you just come back and say, you know, I'm really angry, like, Polly called me out after the meeting, you know? Like, not angry. Okay, you're not, not angry, but you were not really willing to grant 
what Polly laid out the perspective that Wham isn't running a finance committee. Like okay, well, that's the kind of thing. Respond? Sure, but I'm just saying like that's the kind okay, of thing. Okay, sure. All right. So anyway, uh, yeah. So so uh, so I, uh, Wham did. We're looking at this discussion here. It's about four or five meetings ago. Uh, we're talking about going up to up you know, up to a to, uh, to protest the pipeline. And someone said, "Well, we need fifty dollars to. We need some money to 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 for expenses." And she said, uh, uh, "Polly, can we?" Handle that and without any discussion. Polly said, "Yeah, fifty bucks, no problem." And then uh, now, this is like two meetings ago, we gave up uh, all of all of Wham occupied gave up the money to uh, uh, the Vikings, uh, which they had highly deserved uh, for pay for the space. So now Wham is not no longer op from, uh, operating as a finance committee. After I call attention to the fact that they were, uh, but they are still operating as our media committee. Uh, they have a, a Facebook page and they also have a blog that is occupied by Wham. Uh, so I, I just think that we should be running our own uh, finance committee, we should be running our own uh, um, media committee, so that we can be totally independent. And Wham again is, is 501c3, therefore uh, they are any money that they get from uh, corp rich corporation individuals is a tax rate off. It's essentially a subsidy from the U.S. government. Okay. Unless we want to be controlled by the U.S. government, we should be independent of that. Thing. All right. Well, we're running down in time, and we don't want to, you know, hold up the building. With Ziggy, uh, what do you have to add? Uh, basically what I want is, I want Chuck to stop, oh, CJ, who, see the judge. Stop, uh, see the judge. Yes, CJ. See the I judge. want you to stop bashing Occupy MN, as, and if you really, really cared about neutrality, and you really wanted solidarity, I want to see you bash Occupy Homes just as much. That's all I want to see, man. Okay, look on Toby's blog. I bashed Occupy Homes. I'm a writer. I think you're, well, you're a pretty good troll. Thank you. Thank you. You've been, you've been at it for through. a while. Yeah, you should know. You should, you should know. And troll the other ones, too. You should know. Look on Toby's blog. You'll see me bash Occupy Homes as well. Okay. T-shirttoby.blogspot.com. Yep. All right. Well, I just think, as a rule of thumb, personally, that... Um, you know, uh, look, all of us come to these things with different perspectives, different priorities, different issues we want to have looked at. But I think it's important <coughs> to realize that it's not a good idea to spend most of your time saying negative things about people who have essentially no power, no money. Yeah. That like, that's like, like, and you said to me, like you wrote back to me that you basically, basically you said like, unless I was willing to argue with you constantly, this was on the end of the, the thread about Jamie's house. And, and by the end of it, you were basically saying, like, you were deciding you were going to go after and attack OSHA later. You were like, all right, you made my list. Now I'm going to get you. I love OSHA. Or, I love OSHA. I love well, OK, OSHA. but you I said never, very, never, never, never. You've said, OSHA. you said about stuff about you were going to get after OSHA later. And you said that, A, you, you thought that while I was tall, I was not tall intellectually, roughly speaking. So that's using someone's, you know, physical appearance to kind of make a point, right? And I, I'd actually point out that, like in I think in City Pages in the mid '90s, there's a story mentioning you that talks about you getting a restraining or going to harassment court because and the stated reason was Sony making fun of your hair. And so I think that it's like a little questionable that you make fun of someone's or you use someone's physical appearance as a basis to make a point, but then you've been to Hennepin County Harassment Court in years past over that exact same kind of issue. And I think that, no, but, I, but that's, well, whatever, that's what City Pages reported. We could look at it, whatever. But, but, but also, too, it's just that um, you, it seemed to make, you were making clear that, you know, with the all caps and everything, that you wouldn't really respect me, time, I guess. That you wouldn't, no, no, but that you wouldn't respect me unless I was willing, okay, but you wouldn't really respect me unless I spent all my time arguing with you, even though I have other priorities. Okay, like, okay. you were very clear that you but don't respect me because of up, that. Up, okay, man. Okay, all right, so, so now Occupy Homes, another thing you said about them was that they use the term drug house rock. I found no drug house. I found no evidence of that except for in a, in a, in a, 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 a video, a video from this. Jessica, but Jessica used the term drug house, not drug house rock, but drug house. She got that term by talking to the neighbors. The neighbors were terrorized by the, by the people that had were in that house before. Allegedly, were distributing drugs in there. And uh, uh, I'm not against drugs. Use drugs myself from time to time. Uh, but uh, uh, I, I just think that we should we should not be distributing drugs in the neighborhood with those children. And we're, we're using we're engaged in the kind of activities that are oftentimes associated with uh, houses that distribute drugs, this illegal drugs. So that's all. And and, uh, and Jessica thought that too. And she shouldn't be censored. If you want to censor Jessica, then then don't. Uh, don't complain about Occupy Homes for censoring. 
And by the way, the censorship that they I did was the, the censorship that they did. The censorship that they did. The censorship that they did. The okay, the censorship that they did. You gotta stop them. Ziggy, just chill. chill. The censorship that occupied home shit. Ziggy. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Give him ten seconds. Ten seconds. I'm done. The censorship that occupied the Shut up. The censorship that occupied home shit. Uh, was uh, uh, they, they told me at least that uh, it's because Ziggy and others violated Facebook principles by using homophobic language, using the N word, and, uh, no. and, 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 and he's, when he's done it before, on my, on my blog too, on my Facebook page too. I okay, okay, Ziggy. I just want to link. To what? This is being live streamed. Yeah, it's on the Occupy Your Man channel. We're on the main channel, buddy. We're, we're there on the channel. So, um,. You were, I guess, involved in a group called Up and Out of Poverty in it's the co-founded co co with Sherry Hoffa in 1990. Yeah. So, um, in the history of that organization, uh, you were part of the Minneapolis side of the organization, right? And you had an occupation at the Armory downtown, right? Uh, we did that mostly as people that for economic justice. We did it actually twice. I think two, two takeovers. Okay. Army. One was with PUEJ. One was with Up and Out of Poverty. Right. And uh, up around probably St. Paul and Minneapolis participated in that event, one of those events. Anyway. Okay, so there's a there's a quote that you gave or one that popped up uh, in a news search where you said that you thought that this other group called CARE, which was basically kind of a landlord group that was... CARE? Uh, yeah, I think it's called CARE, right? right? And they were they were doing things like trying to get landlords and the police to be called on drug houses and stuff like that. And in theory, getting these houses up to code and stuff, but they were controversial. Because other people... Z Ziggy, shut up for a minute. They, 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 they seemed controversial because it seemed like they were putting chemically dependent people out on the streets, and that. But nonetheless, you seem to clearly be aligned with that side of this debate. Whereas the people that ended up in up and out of poverty, St. Paul, were still trying to do direct action at houses. You know, they were still trying to occupy houses, and it seemed like you weren't aligned with that anymore. So, were you on the side of care? Were you against the idea of occupying houses? Did you think that? trying to get people out of these drug houses at that time was a good idea, that that was the goal, or what, what was your context? I was, I was, against, I was against CARE, uh, uh, mostly there was had some good parts of the program, but mostly I was against them. And the literature, the, the news reports at that time would clearly show that I was, uh, uh, was against them. I defended uh, up out of poverty St. Paul uh, uh, against CARE when they said they were going to beat the shit out of them. They were going to beat the shit out of them out of St. Paul. And uh, I stood strongly, uh, strongly against that. But were you against the idea of continuing to occupy these houses? Like, were you a leader of a faction that wanted to get away from occupying houses? Oh, never, never, never. No, I, never. I believe, I believe, I believe in occupying houses. So that's that's, yeah, that's what I do. Okay. That's, so, I'm, all right. I've been there for 25 years. Okay. In occupying houses. Um, I'm the first. I'm, I'm the first occupier, as a matter of fact, because. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, well, I can show you. Okay, well, all right. Well, let's, let's let Ziggy go for a, a minute here, um, and then I think we really got to wrap this out. Um, but I think it was good to exchange these discussions. Yeah, there's flyers, the, again, with the website. I just want to show you. Sure. Okay, Ziggy, go for a minute. Please. I'm the first occupier. Okay, so there's. I'm the first occupier. So there's right the there, picture. Occupying, occupying the home. Well, what me as, as occupying. Here. Okay, let's. To you listen. Well, sort of. Let's just do it. Okay, Ziggy, go. One minute. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I get one minute while you guys go back and forth. Okay, well, I would just say address the allegations that I say homophobic, racist, and sexist slurs. Because personally, I come from the internet. And that's what we do there. And you know what? Nobody gives a shit. Because all, every single person cares about each other. All these trolls you hear about, they hang out. They don't have anybody else because they're trolls. And you know what? You're going to live a sad, lonely life because people are sick and tired of you trolling their own activism. And a hundred hits my that's blog today. Hundred hits. Hundred hits on my blog. People want to see my blog. Hundred hits today. Nobody gives a flying fuck. Hundred of them did. Hundred today. Hundred of them did. Occupy him okay. I, I think it's. I think it's fair to say that we did skip Ziggy and some of the back and forth. So I think we should give him at least another minute. Like that. Someone Cobra raised this point of process. So one minute again, starting now, Ziggy. I, I just really want you to start bashing Occupy Bones as much as you bash Toby, Occupy Toby 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 Check it out. I bashed them. I mean, you can't, you know, you can't go and say you're an impartial judge and only speak for one side. Because doesn't the mainstream media do that? And what do we think about the mainstream media? They're douchebags. Do you really want to live your life being a douchebag? Because you're sort of acting like one. I bashed him, okay? So when, 
No. Is that is that you have another twenty seconds yeah. to me? You yield the time. Thank you. Okay. What do you want me to do? The pounding so round I round guess round. like the question is like, to me the question is like, are you going to put anywhere comparable effort into writing negative things about people that have a lot of power in our society compared to what you write about people that volunteer their time? Things don't always go perfectly, as we can see. But like, are you gonna prioritize challenging people that aren't just like struggling to throw in their volunteer hours and like barely keep a roof over their head? Are you gonna prioritize? Can I answer? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Well, what, what I'm trying to do here, and I'm really glad we had this chance to have this conversation. Yeah. Now we have more conversations. I want us to, from the beginning, I've wanted us to mediate, get this problem solved. There's no reason to be handling this in, what in, problem? In, in, the, in the press. We need to talk about it internally. And get the problem solved internally, so that we are not dividing ourselves. That's what, the, that's what the, the FBI boss. wants. Us to Hold do. on. That's what the FBI wants us to do. That's what the government wants us. What the bankers want us to do. Let's work together. Okay. Uh, one, one minute, I guess, Ziggy. Uh, why are you writing a blog that does nothing but bash Occupy MN? I bashed Occupy MN. You keep, you keep, you keep well, no, I didn't screaming that, no. solidarity, but you're not doing anything for the side that a lot of people are pissed off at. Do you ever help build links of trust between people with what the way you wield journalism as a hammer? Do you build trust? Well, well, again, it was occupied, Do you build trust? It was, it was occupied media, uh, Minnesota media committee that started bashing Occupy Homes first. This whole thing never would have, would have happened if they wouldn't have started to come here. It, without Occupy Homes even being invited and told about it, started bashing them behind their back. I was just standing up. For, I, I'm, Is that I'm, the I'm, only I'm, I'm, issue? I'm, finished. I'm part of both these groups. I, I, I'm part of this group. I'm part of that group. I, 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 I just wasn't going to stand. Wasn't going to stand for being bashed behind the back. I wasn't going to stand for being bashed behind the back. Ziggy, Z, Z, hold on. Let's give him 20 seconds. I, I, I bash myself, but I bash people to their face. I don't bash them behind their back. That's what I, not the media community doesn't bash them behind their back. I just stood up for the, for the underdog, as I usually do. do. Do you really think that Occupy Homes is the only issue that you're like? trying to throw bones about? Like, is what about, what do you say about, like, for example, why do you say that Mick Kelly wants to burn the anarchists, but you're his friend on Facebook now? Why do you do that? Well, like, why do you well, have a... Well, just like OSHA, I, I, actually, I, I love Mick Kelly, too. I'm just going to tell you right now, Mick, I love you. But, you know, you did tell me, when we were drinking buddies in 1993, I think it was, after we got done drinking at Palmer's, went to your apartment, you told me you were going to burn anarchists along with their books. You told me that we're not going to call the police for any reason in the United States, but if, if after the revolution, or in, in, in Soviet uh, Russia, or in Maoist China, if anybody said anything out of the uh, out of room with the Communist Party, we're going to tell about it. We're going to tell the cops. Okay, so right. that's why I had to tell people about it. So I love you, man. But but I just have to, have to tell the truth. That's the truth. You've never denied it. Uh, it's just the truth. And so why should we wait till the revolution uh, to have you guys burn us along with our books? You're going to burn me too. I mean, I'm not an anarchist, but I'm sure I'll be in the hottest part of the fire. And along with my books. So you're saying that, but you're still his friend on uh, Facebook? I love the guy. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, I, I, yeah. Okay, let, uh, Ziggy, um, let's try to wind it up, though, guys. You, you, uh, you, you call directors. Oh, man. You are just so silly. You talk about revolution, but you're working for a group that's known to work with the government. Which group? Who? Who? Occupy Homes. Works with the government? They had a meeting yeah. with the police chief, for example, that we never got notes from to begin with. I'm and, the one that found it. And, you know, Nick Espinosa went to go be a Minneapolis DFL delegate after he assured everybody he wasn't just trying to climb the DFL. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's, we there's too many, too many people trying to have and eat yeah. ideological well, Nick, cakes, Nick, Nick you know? Nick Espinosa is not Occupy Homes. Mm -hmm. the, the, occupy Homes is Jamie. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, Bobby Hull. It's Monique uh, no, it's White. Not. That's what, that's what, uh, uh, but they, they weren't the ones that kicked people like Liz and Karen off their Facebook list. Facebook kicked them off. I, I, I was told by the, the, the Facebook who's kicked Ziggy off. Google groups, Liz and Karen were pulled off the Occupy Homes internal discussion loop okay, let's get in order to control right. the situation. Let's get, some for it. let's get some evidence for it. I want to see it. I'll deny, I'll deny some for it if they did. That's all. And, I, and I've denounced them for it. Well, but the point is, like, how can we just sort of say, could we sit constructively say, listen, you've, you know, you've had the criticisms, you've made them clear. Mm -hmm. But it's not just simply about the fact that seven people want to have a separate editorial process from a group that's turned into something of an NGO style organization. Mm -hmm. That in fact you have many broader issues with different people okay. in the activist scene around the Twin Cities, and that that's relevant to this as well. Okay, so so Wham is an NGO. Uh, 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 um, uh, oh, please. Uh, IWW must be an IGO, uh, uh, NGO. Uh, the uh, the uh, Southern Christian Leadership under Martin Luther King, NGO, uh, AIM, American Indian Movement, NGO, Black Panthers, NGO, 
What the fuck? Who are you gonna work for? I mean, excuse me. What? Who are you, who are you gonna work they can with? they can send us updates and we we can have a separate editorial with? process and take their contributions if they want to throw them out on a Facebook page. Who can you work with? If you cannot work with, we can work team. independently. You can't work with Idle more because Idle more has Okay, listen. Do you realize that we can Office. work independently? Okay, hold on. Can I just say though? Do you understand that like we can cooperate independently? Like I think that there's like a lack of understanding about the idea that people can flock together. It's, it's called stochiastic network behavior, right? Yeah. And so people can work cooperatively, uh, or as Bakunin said, mutual aid, all that kind of thing. But then when we have differences, we don't share an internal process. We can just arrive at that point and move on with our lives and not freak out about it. Like seriously, because you, you freak any, out. You can't work any Native American tribes because you all have chiefs. None of them are so. We can work independently. Do you realize what I mean? Like, there's an intermediate position here. It's not. They're yes, not in the editorial. Don't be attacking them in the press. In the city press. Don't be attacking. I was them. asked no. questions and I answered the them because people the have been mistreated. Been no the answer is no comment. No comment. That's the answer when, you, when, they, when they start answering kind of questions. No comment. That's what's a that I should have to cover for what Occupy Homes was talking about. That was a disaster. That's what the banks want us to do. Is start bashing each other in the press. That's what the police want us to do. That's what the FBI. That's what Intel was all about. And you fed right into it. I was asked no, questions and I no answered comment, honestly. No comment. The, the no only answer is no comment. Stipends. I've tried to get Espinoza to no, explain no on the record that. about the different messed up decisions that they were taking, including internal. locking that's people out of things, and he would not give me answers on the record. Let's do it internally. Let's do it internally. Let's mediate. Let's no, do it. he wouldn't represent what he was doing well, I'll internally sure to I'll lock sure, people I'll out sure, of things. I'm not sure they do. Let's, do, let's, let's mediate, okay? Look, we've had a lot of communications. When they're respectful, we can work together and advance things. So it's not just sort of a mediation style interaction. Instead, it's like, OK, we can actually can work for get together productively on different things. And we do that. While you've been attacking people constantly in writing and sort of saying you're doing this on behalf of Occupy Homes, no, although no, you've, been clear no, that no, you've been clear that you're planning to attack Occupy Homes later. Like that you're still going, you're going to come, you're your list of people to criticize is going to move back to them I later. I, but, but I'm, you know, so that's, you're, my you're, job, that's my job as a journalist to, to criticize. You know, I mean, I have, you're I'm, I'm, people I'm that have no power, I mean, so you're, you're just going to criti yeah. keep criticizing different I activists. I also compliment, I compliment, I compliment both Occupy Homes and Occupy Minneapolis too. We've done a lot of great things. One of the great things that Occupy Minneapolis has done is uh, Occupy Homes came out of us. We should be proud of that. And yeah, we should learn from that. No, too. shut up. Okay, Ziggy, let's, let's give you, let's give each of you guys a minute. Um, and then we'll wind it up. It's we like five minutes. We have to get out of here. Occupy Homes is a good thing where their goals are like $10,000 a month. And isn't it funny? When Occupy Homes started is when the camps started getting broken up. What a coinky dink. So the more you sit there and feast your little love fest and go home at night and you write your pornography on your blog... Just remember that there are people who honestly believed in what that protest represented. And you, you are just the antithesis of that. So good day, sir. All right. Is that it? We got 20 seconds if you want. I don't need them. Bye, Ziggy. Goodbye, okay, Ziggy. so uh, one, one minute if you want to wrap it up. Okay, well, I just think, again, we, we need to talk about these things internally. Unless we want to be what the COINTELPRO was trying to do to us, we need to talk about these things. Internally, Internally. that's why you're Come on, don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Mm -hmm. And we need to uh, to stop making allegations uh, that uh, Occupy Homes uh, used, uh, said a drug house, when, a rot, when they said a drug house, when, when a homeless woman used that term after talking to the neighbors. Uh, for their, and we, we have to stop uh, calling them uh, uh, classes. And because we're, we're working with other groups that are, that are much more, much more high, uh, are, uh, vertical, much less horizontal, uh, much more uh, um, commercial. Uh, than Occupy Homes. Occupy, yeah. homes, uh, Occupy homes brings in uh, $47,000 a year, I think, for my last count, and they get paid $800 a month. That, that's, that that's nothing. I mean, they can't even, they can't even you know, okay. pay for food and housing and, and, and anything cool. on that money. Okay. On the point about the drug house rot, if you go back and read our initial statement, drug house is what's in quotes. Rot is the implication of the word. Drug house is what the quotes are. You can go back and look at that. It came out in writing. Do it's you attached to the videos. Or not? Do you want her censored or not? Do you want a homeless mother center? Uh, Those guys, if they want, want to send in material to consider on the Jessica story, they can do that. That campaign is basically over. Um, do you want censored but, or not? Huh? That's the question. Do you want, do you want a homeless uh, woman censored because she used the term drug house in a, uh, a, a video? Do you want her censored? I think That's that she expressed regret well, over that. Well, but, she, not to me, she didn't. Okay, well, I saw that she put it in writing that she felt that she shouldn't have said it that way.
So the point is that I guess like okay, if I can, I'll just I don't know. Um, I don't exactly know what the logical point is to stop the conversation here. I just want to say that I think it's important to realize that people can operate independently. That with Occupy Homes as media needs, that if they contact us, we consider their stuff and have usually approved it. Now I think that you maybe have been trying to be an intermediary of some sort in this, and then. For example, in the notes, when you go to the Occupy Homes meetings, you've been trying to spur on, as you said, accelerate a war. Was it no, a term? No, you, no. you said the war no, will accelerate. No, you said to me the war the will war. accelerate. I want to mediate the war. I want to mediate the war. Yes, yes you want to be the central figure in a larger conflict. That's the problem. I think that that's the problem. I just I think that's what it's all about for you, man. I think, I think that you try to, instead of working on the larger projects and letting people be independent, I think that you want to be in the midst of, and try to be in the middle of, well, of, uh, of yeah, conflict. I, 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 I want to see peace, totally peace, peace with all, 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 all activist groups. Okay, let's, let's, let's do. I want to thank you. I okay. want to thank you. I want to thank you for taking the time to discuss this with me. It's the first time you've talked on the, uh, on, on the record about this kind of thing. So thank you very much. That's, I think we're making some progress here. Let's talk some more. I would be totally fine with Occupy Homes if they just stopped using the name Occupy. Okay, well, let's do another. I went on a little bit. Uh, let's do another 30 seconds for Ziggy. Uh, it's Cobra adds, what about Ania Reyes? She was on the feed earlier. Um, right. uh, so, okay, so it's some other. Ziggy, 30 seconds. Um, uh, CJ, 30 seconds. Yeah. We'll just leave it there, okay? Is we'll just, on, on, on stop? Yeah. That's it. I mean, they, they've commented. Anita was on the chat channel earlier. She's not here now, right, okay. but she was earlier. So, you want, you want I just want to, I want to be fair. Uh, so, we'll go. As much as I can. So Ziggy, thirty seconds. CJ, thirty seconds. Then we'll we'll stop it right there. All right. Yep. Ziggy, go. I think uh, I think Occupy Homes should stop branding themselves as Occupy since they've fallen so far from the principles. Since they, they uh, everything is a donation drive, they should call themselves the Home Liberation Front. I have no problem with that. But when they try and get into Occupy stuff. The hell with them. That's my only. Here's your 20, issue. Here's your 20 seconds. No, no, no. This is 30. Oh. Three. Okay. Two. Anita can go next. Um, I don't think we have Anita on the chat. Okay. I want to respond. 30 seconds. Yeah. Wait. Go. Yeah. yeah, I think uh, maybe Occupy Minneapolis should start calling itself Occupy because we don't occupy anything except for these chairs on Wednesday night. And not even that many chairs. There was 15 chairs we occupied tonight. Occupy Homes has been occupying since we left the plaza. They've been occupying at, uh, at banks. They've been occupying at the government, been, uh, at the government center. They've been occupying at the uh, Capitol. They've been occupying this house and uh, Jessica's house for four months now. Uh, they're, they're actually occupying. So let's let them call themselves Occupy. And let's just drop the name Occupy or at least start calling ourselves Occupy Chairs. All right. And with that, I think we'll leave it there. Everyone else can. What? They only do one thing. Can't call yourself they occupy. Occupy. They one thing. Okay, but we, we, we need to split from the building, but I think it's been good that we can at least have a documented Absolutely. discussion, Absolutely. and then we'll right. see how productively we all handle ourselves in the next week. Would yeah. you agree that that's I, true? I, 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 I plan yeah. to yeah. 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 All right, well, let's all try to stay positive. We'll good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.